Hi, this is Tristan Cunningham from Beyond the Tent, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Strayed Frontier shovel and saw combination. There's a ton of survival features on this hatchet, which makes it perfect for camping. Let's jump in. So this is actually my first look at the Strayed shovel saw combo. Opening it up here, right out of the box, comes with a saw head, the shovel head, and a handle. The handle is a nice anodized handle. It looks like it's made out of aluminum, and it has a button head compass right here. You can unscrew the compass, and the compass head comes off and you have a little glass breaker right here. So if we put the compass head back on, it actually looks like there's another section that we can screw out entirely here. You can come out with the glass handle or not. And in this you have a, looks like that's a flint and a whistle. It's pretty loud. So looking inside here even further, the handle actually comes with a little capsule looks like it's waterproof and in the capsule you have some fishing line a couple sinkers and a couple small hooks it's a perfect emergency capsule to have in your survival saw so putting that all together now you can just slide the capsule in this screws in your saw head just screws right on top here I actually love this design when you're out in the woods camping sometimes when you have a saw with a handle that's right up short next to it, it's a little hard to get a good grip on. With this Strayed saw Shovel Saw combo, you can get a good grip on that saw, get some good leverage when you're trying to cut through a larger piece of wood. The saw is a very sharp dual tooth design. Looks like it's going to do a lot of damage. The shovel attachment also screws on. As you can see, there's a little seal here to keep anything you want to put in this handle dry. You can keep some tinder in there. As you saw earlier, we have a little fishing kit in there. So this is actually a really solid design. I feel like I could get a lot of leverage digging here. And with this sharper head on the shovel, you can make some real progress when you're trying to dig a trench around your tent in the case of a rain. Also, we do have a little bit of a saw on your shovel head and a couple little hex holes. And it looks like you have a rope cutter right here. Let's get in the woods and let's test this out. Strayed has long been known to make very good quality components and their shovel and saw combo does not disappoint. When you're camping, you're often not allowed to cut live wood, so we're going to be testing the saw out on this about uh, three to four inch thick fallen tree right here. We're gonna cut it into a half, just see how it holds up, and then we're going to test out the shovel. Let's get started. So we got about halfway through and the Strayed saw is very sharp. It cuts through dead wood like this with ease. In fact, it's so sharp that it leaves a very narrow path. So the blade eventually builds up enough friction and wants to stop. So to combat that, I just tilt the blade slightly. It cuts nicely through the wood and we can give it another go. So, due to the sharpness and the dual tooth design of the Strayed saw, this is swarming with ants, but it made cutting this dead wood very easy. Compared to any saw that you'd find on the back of a machete, I love this handle design. It feels like a combat weapon. Or a club. So, you just finished sawing up your fire with your Strayed saw. Took about five minutes. That leaves you with time to dig a trench around your tent. 
All you need to do, unscrew the top of the saw, set it to the side, grab your shovel, and quickly and simply screw your handle in. Let's get to it. When you're preparing to dig a hole with your straight shovel, there's actually a couple of very useful features. If you have a little bit of shrub, there's a cutter right here that you can easily and quickly just place around your shrub, pull through, and it cuts it. There's also a saw on the edge. If you're digging and you hit a root, you can easily and quickly, without having to grab your saw or anything, use the edge of your shovel and cut through that root. The shovel itself is actually shaped like a blade. When inserted into the ground, this makes cutting very easy. Digging a one foot trench took me about 20 seconds and I didn't even use the additional side of the shovel that allows you to push down with your foot. I found the shovel sharp enough so that I could insert it into the ground no problem. However, when you're up in the boundary waters up in northern Minnesota or a, dip, a camping ground similar to that, you're going to encounter some tougher ground than out in this more loamy woods and you're going to need to have that little extra oomph of when you step on the shovel. The shovel actually has such a sharp edge that you can use it as a hatchet in a pinch. It easily cuts through the wood. And if you don't have a hatchet, or if you dropped your hatchet out of the side of your boat, this is going to be a very solid backup. The Schrade shovel saw combo comes with a fire starter. If we unscrew the tip here, pull out the fire starter, and we can just use the edge of the hatchet even. it easily could start a fire. Now, we didn't have any dry material. Oh, it already went out. Uh... Now, we didn't have any dry material because it's rained here recently, so we just grabbed a paper towel and a couple tries and you'll have a fire started in no time. Overall, this trade shovel saw combo is a very reliable and tool that can do many different things. If I was going to pick one thing to bring with me on a camping trip and nothing else, it would be this kit. If you have a compass on the top, you got a fire starter, you have a whistle, you have this amazing handle. Your shovel head not only is a shovel, it can multifunction as a hatchet, a saw, a cutter. And aside from that, you have this super sharp saw that when combined with this nice handle, you can use to cut anything. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell to be notified of any future videos.